Yes, you did. You have done more than I could have expected. I will be... Yes, you did. You have done more than I could have expected. I'm proud to call you my apprentice, dear one. But for now, I must rest. Go and return another day, and we shall start your next lesson. Just in time, dear. Each of my apprentices needs to carry a soul amulet, much like the ones you and Olaf carry around your necks. Today, you will learn how to create one yourself. Yes, a very capable fledgling at that. Don't you worry about details. I'm sure you'll meet her in time. For now, speak with Olaf, and he will tell you everything you need to know. Yes? How my name is Olivia. I am a humble servant of the church, here to bring these poor souls back into the fold. I came here to minister to the people of Hexenrast. The church has heard they were under the thrall of a dark force, and I moved here to set them free. I tried, child, but the louder I preached, the less the people listened. I remain here now because I cannot leave my flock to suffer the results of my failure. Was there something else? The church saved my life, if I may be so bold. I was a wild child on the streets of Thraben when the church offered its protection. Our world is filled with countless horrors. The Archangel Aphison sought to protect all humanity from the darker forces of Innistrad. Until she fell to those forces herself. The church carries on, like a shattered mirror still offering up a reflection. We still seek to protect humanity, even if they have since sought out less conventional patrons. Was there something else? Yes? Strange... Ah, there you are! Our loving Nani Ula is allowing us to help her create a soul amulet. Yes, the third. <laughs> well, uh, uh, take this stone. Ignore the lamp oil smell. Nani anointed it for you. She instructed me to have you charge it with soul energy by doing what you do best. It, it means you're the stronger of us, of course. Uh, once you collect enough souls in the stone, anointed at the Altar of Souls and the Altar of Ambition, uh, while you're doing that, I'll pay a visit to Nani's silversmith friend. Uh, anything else? Once fully charged, these cold corpses will be filled with life.
Somebody stop these scabs! The scabs are attacking the cage tomb! Scabs! At the stone tomb! Attacking the cage tomb! They're damaging the stone tomb! They're damaging the stone tomb! Breaking into the cage tomb! They're breaking into the cage tomb! Scouts! At the stone tomb!
You are a fast learner, dear apprentice. Very well done. The enchantment on this stone is... Why, it's perfect. There is still much to teach you, but I must set this stone in silver immediately. Hexenrast? Why do you ask? We've done nothing wrong. We keep to ourselves, trying to protect one another from the creatures that hunt in the dark. <sighs> Apologies. We don't have much, but there always seems to be someone or something trying to take what little we have. The offer is appreciated, but we can't trust strangers here. Uh, nothing personal. How else can I help you? Oh, no. There's nothing interesting about me. I am Havish, just a simple town elder doing everything he can to keep his people safe. My family has lived in the Moorlands for generations. My father brought us out here from Thraben to start a new life away from the prying eyes of the church. M me uh, No, uh, but my father. Uh, well, he wasn't the most pious of men. He felt that all we needed to survive the darkness was enough people gathered round to hold lanterns. Mother Livia would say otherwise, but it hasn't been the church keeping us safe. We have just had to rely on, uh, different patrons for our protection. How else can I help you? Hunters say they saw the dead walking not far from the village. I suggest you stay inside the village until they pass. How else can I help you? Yes, yes, yes she does. It's a great task. Oh, you will love it. Go to her hut and look. She will be very... Anything else? My dear one, of course I do. But this one is not for me, Puppet. I think it is time you did a bit of networking. Yeah, a very powerful necromancer, Gisa Sasani, contacted me, asking to borrow my dear apprentice. You have much to learn from a woman such as Giza. Oh, much to learn indeed. Such a good apprentice. Giza can be found at her camp near Trostad. Now go, dear one. Nani shall miss you when you're gone. What is it? Wonderful. I didn't expect someone so... lively. Let's not waste time, hmm? We have a lot to do. My dear brother Garof sits comfortably in Trostad. 
building abominations and growing more complacent by the minute. I would like you to enter his town and show him a little adversity. Shred his minions, destroy his equipment, do anything you can. My servant Volomir shall meet you outside Trostad and assist you in your task. Anything else? Nani Ula's pet. You look strong. You remind me of myself. Before I was bound to Giza's service in this form. Plans, you say? You make me laugh, flesh. We will walk into Trostad, break into Garolf's scabbard workshop, and destroy everything. Except for Garolf himself. Any more of your insi- I don't know who you are, but I know you're here. Please be forewarned. My sister's servants typically don't fare well within these walls. Garolf Sasani, what a fool. He thinks his stitched monstrosities are the height of the necromantic arts. Their only virtue is how easily they fall apart. I'll leave the fighting to you, Flesh. It's why you're here, isn't it? Surprise! The coward has barred the entrance to the town this time. We'll have to find another, more destructive way in. is using soul vessels. <laughs> How quaint. Watch, I'll possess the relic and corrupt it. You can fill it with as many souls as you can. Let's see what happens. Soul vessels absorb the essence of anything that dies nearby. I have warped the containment lattice, so ready yourself. This will be a bit of a show. Sent a welcoming committee. Welcome, flesh, to Trostan. I suggest we seek out more soul vessels to destroy. Garol would hate that. Ex 
Excellent. Another soul vessel. I'll blight it just like the last time. You slaughter to your heart's content. I expected. Excellent. There must be more we can destroy. Oh, you would have loved Trostar flesh. Before Garolf infested it anyway. <laughs> Congratulations. You've destroyed some of my equipment. Maybe if I send your corpse shambling back her way, she'll start following the rules we agreed on. Oh, how cute. He thinks Giza cares about the rules of engagement. Ah, this vessel is already damaged, flesh. Watch out for erratic discharges of soul energy. Keep the souls flowing, flesh. Down. 
my neighbors lived right over there. They died of natural causes. Pity. That home is where my family lived before I killed them. Such glorious excess, now gone to ruin. The vessel has gaping holes in its containment lattice. Beware of explosive outbursts, flesh. is just ahead. I can hardly wait to destroy. And now, flesh, we can crush his workshop. My sister and I had agreed that headquarters were off-limits. Very well. I will indulge my sister's delusions of grandeur no longer. Oh, I do hope she paid you in advance. Was that a threat? Ha ha ha! I'll corrupt the soul vessels one at a time. You know what to do, flesh. Foul creature! I'm going to harvest every single bone in your body!
My dear intruder, are you asking me to have you killed? <laughs> it looks like we've got another stubborn skin. Such acts at my sister's behest. Oh, this little war game has gone on long enough. I leave you in the capable talons of my most terrifying experiments. Farewell. Lies Garov's masterpiece. That's what your Swamp Witch wanted, is it not? Yes, my dear apprentice, that will do very well. Garov's latest masterpiece, complete but for a soul to animate it. I will have it collected, my dear. In the meantime, return to me, and I shall make certain...
Christus, du Dienst, 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 du Dienst,